Hi guys, this is Emily Lestrange here with yet another haul video. This is kind of like a part two to the first, um, the latest haul I did. Um, disclaimer, like the last one, um, I do not own the music playing in the background. It is owned by Sisters of Mercy. If you would like to know the um, CD name to the soundtrack in the background, um, it'll be in the description below. Um, I have been developing a very slow fan base, so if you do like this video, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, put the little notification button because I think that's a new thing they got going on. And the more you guys watch me, the better quality I will be getting with the videos. I'll be getting a better camera and a laptop to actually do like my own fancy opening and haul. But without further ado, let's get started. Um, again, this is like a, Chris a very late Christmas haul type video. And I'll try and start with like the things that aren't toys. <laughs> Uh, the first thing I got was from Ravens and Rockers. It is this beautiful metal butterfly mask. And I have this strange obsession with masks. So I um, had to get it. I've never had a metal one before. And I love the shape of it. Um, again, I want to thank Ravens and Rockers and Sheena and Shelly for allow for helping me out with everything I bought from there. Um, if you guys are in the Florida area, um, Tampa, Orlando, their um, store is located in Tampa. I will leave a link below to their Facebook page for this store. They are the sweetest people ever and they will help you find whatever you're looking for. But yeah, that is the pretty mask. It is form-fitting to a face and I love how sturdy the metal is where it doesn't like flop like other lacy material ones. The next one is this top from Sinister. I do believe I have a picture of me wearing it somewhere on Instagram. My Instagram is emilylestrange13 if you haven't if you haven't already followed. Just leave a little follow. I'm more active on Instagram than I am on here. But here is the shirt. It's by Sinister. It's a velvety material with lace corsetting down both the sides. And the sleeves are a beautiful, like, lace ribbony type thing. And it's good for, like, if I just want a casual shirt. It does not corset, which is really good for my lazy days. It zippers in the back. It is a small, and it still feels a little small for me. Um, but for the most part, it does fit really well. It's just these guys. But I still love it. I still wear it. Next, uh, and the last thing from Ravens and Rockers I've gotten is I've experimented a little bit with this. Um, it is a purse. Now, I usually wear like backpacks or my coffin bag, but I was like, you know what? I need something a little more elegant for like dinners and stuff. And it is by Restyle. It's got like a velvety front with this beautiful fat marking in the middle and like a a pleather border around it. It does also have pleather uh, pockets in the side. And I have been using this, so there is stuff in it. Got a little large pocket right here. I should say large pocket instead of little pocket. Little Ouija um, talisman. And then two extra pockets right here where you can put like your makeup. And then it's very deep, surprisingly, for how small it is. The only thing I don't like is that it only has these two little um, handles instead of like one big one that I can just put over my um, shoulder like I could my coffin bag. But I still use this a lot. I still love it. 
Okay, next um, is something that a friend of mine got me. Um, button, if you're watching, thank you very much. It is a cute little, it's still on the, the cute little bat necklace. It's very small, so it's like a subtle kind of addition. If I don't want to be too extra, I'll use that word extra one day. So I can just put this little cute little bat necklace on. It's also really good for if I'm going to like a nice dinner with my boyfriend. But it is a really sweet gesture and it's really hard to find bat stuff. So, um, it's kind of nice when people find bad stuff to get me. Um, the next two things are going to be hats that I actually bought from the store that I am currently employed at. Um, chapel hats at Disney Springs. Um, if you're ever in Orlando going to Disney, just, uh, give us a check, check us out. Um, we're more toward the landing area of Disney Springs, kind of in a reclusive corner but it's still really nice it's I, I love it I love the vintage feel to it and I love the hats but it's like one of these I want to say it's like a newsboy hat it's really good for when I don't want the Sun in my eyes or apparently the light in my room in my eyes um, it's like a black I can tell you exactly what it is it's a black a polyester material and it has like a stripe pattern little band around the um, brim of the cap with little buttons on the side it's a little big but I don't mind like wearing slightly big hats so again for like when I'm lazy and just don't want sun in my eyes the next hat is a coach which is a very popular 20s hat and it's got like a dome top it's oh my gosh I love this hat I wore it today <laughs> it has a flower decal unfortunately you can't really see it and like a lace decal around the brim these hats um, you can adjust them to fit the size fit your head because they do kind of come a little big and I, I, thank goodness I have a big head but if you have a smaller head and you really like these hats they have a little elastic band in you can just pull and it makes the hat a little smaller and you can even tie it to make it fit your head more now to the toys Mwah. yes I'm 25 and still love toys the first one is a toy from the Bleeding uh, Edge series. They are um, Kindergots, or I think they changed their name to something else. Minor Misfits. And it's a bat. He's a little on the dirty side. But that's because he collects a lot of um, lint. Yeah. He is just too cool. I know he has a name. I don't remember the name. He does not have arms because if you know bat anatomy, their wings are actually their arms. So these are his arms. He wears like a cute little diaper, a very 50s looking cape to make it look like a leather jacket, got a death hawk here, and his collar says go bat go with a G cleft. And he is just too cute. I love him. His eyes are embroidered, but his mouth is like a rub-on accessory. And if you look really closely, his the middle of his eye has a little blood droplet. So yeah, I snuggle with him sometimes. The Bleeding Edge series ha always makes like really cool figurines and stuffed animals and dolls. So if you want to check them out, um, try Amazon because it's very hard to find bleeding edge toys anywhere anymore. I just get lucky with like Amazon or uh, I found a bleeding edge figure at a thrift store once. Next one is 
this guy. Hmm. He is a squishable. Um. I forget when I named him because I do give my bats names. But he is just that. He is squishable. He's throwable. I abuse him to death and back. But he's a little vampire bat. He's got little embroidered eyes and embroidered mouth. And he's got little pink blush cheekies. These are actually not horns. They are his ears. But they look like horns when I saw him on um, Amazon. But he's really nice for if I need something to like squish. Like it says he's a squishable. Um, you can find him on Amazon. And he would love to come home with you. Alright, enough of that. Uh, next one is... Actually, I forgot about this one. Uh, my parents uh, sent me something for Christmas. It's empty now, but I really liked the glass. It was a rum? I think it was a rum. But I kind of... Because it's so small, I drank it all. But I love the crystal skull aspect of it and the little red bow, so I kept it. And it now set, sits as a decoration on my bookshelf. Back to the toys. Right. Next is kind of big. Um, you may have seen him in the background of this entire video. This is Caesar. He is a whopping two foot. Uh, he is a Yoohoo and uh, Friends toy um, given to me by a friend, Manny, for Christmas. He has um, very iridescent wings, eyes, and ears. Um, this is like good for when I need to wrap my arms and legs around something and no one's around. But he is a panda bat. It says it on his tag. His name is Betwee, but I renamed him to Caesar. I am an extraordinary panda bat. As you can see, like he does have like panda markings. And I believe they are vampire bats. But he's another little addition to my bat collection. And now, whoop! He's really big, so he almost fall, fell off the bed. He tends to do that. Last but not least was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend, before he was my boyfriend. It is a Frightlings! I've wanted one of these for years. I even kept the box. I have taken him out of the box, so it's not like an unboxing or anything. But I still have all like the shredded paper and the adoption certificate that is still wrapped up. But look at him oh his name is vincent and he is kind of like a stitched vampire bat um so he doesn't he's not really based on a real bat just kind of like a stitched rag doll type thing he has plastic eyes and embroidered nose um in the shape of a heart another embroidered heart toward his feet all of the stitches are embroidered his little uh, ruffle here, kind of like Victorian, where they have the ruffle coming down from their necks. Um, he can be hung from his little tail. And then he is Velcro. His wings are Velcro, I should say. But he is just my little baby, my little darling. And I think uh, I love Frightlings just because of him, just because of this little baby right here. And I think that is it for my haul today. Um, I'll try and link everything um, that I showed today in the description below. Um, I will um, write what the um, album is I'm playing in the background. And for now, I will see you guys in the next video.